Hi everyone, um, my name is Ben Johnson and I'm uh, one of the team members at South Point Church and I was asked to tell my story of my life with Jesus. Um, mine was fairly a typical uh, childhood, uh, like a lot of people um, went to Sunday school and church and as a young child my mom would make sure that I was being exposed to, to the Bible. Uh, don't know that I viewed it as a, a real relationship with God, but uh, going through the, the mechanics of it. Um, when I was uh, 10, my oldest brother died in a car wreck, and um, as a result of that, my dad uh, had a spiritual awakening, and, and uh, he came back to the church, and as a result, of course, my family was even more involved in the church at that point. Um, I accepted Jesus as my savior when I was in ninth grade and uh, went through high school, still doing all the stupid stuff that high schoolers are given to do. <laughs> uh, kind of going through the motions, not really uh, what I would characterize as a as a life of faith or walking with, with the Lord. But um, uh, a couple years after high school, we married my uh, high school sweetheart and uh, we were very active in the church, went to Bible studies and taught Sunday school and you know, kind of still doing the same, going through the motions, not really about a relationship with Jesus. And when that marriage ended in divorce, I. Uh, questioned everything about faith and um, pretty much at that point walked away from the church. And uh, I spent the next 30 years not really, uh, not really what I would call uh, living the Christian life. Um, I probably would characterize it as a, I was a Christian atheist because I believed in God but I lived my life as if there wasn't one. Uh, joined the army, uh, got married again, and uh, after a couple of deployments, um, that marriage also ended in divorce. Um, still not walking with the Lord uh, at that point. And, um, God was letting me find my own way, uh, giving me my dignity to screw up and uh, figure it out and find my way back. Um, I ended up returning to Southern Maryland in the early 90s and went to work on base and met a wonderful woman, uh, my wife Sharon. And we started dating and after a few years we decided to get married and um, we had a son we have a son together and um, when Jake was about, I could guess he was about four or five, we kind of figured out that we really did need to do something uh, as far as his spiritual upbringing. And so we were blessed to have neighbors who went to South Point and they spent a year about trying to convince us to try it out. And um, one Sunday Sharon told me she was going to go and I didn't want to go. I was stubborn. I went for a run and in the middle of my run, the Holy Spirit laid it on my heart that, uh, to question why, why was I resisting going to church. And, uh, so I came home and showered up and went to church and heard Matt speak for the first time. And, uh, the way he presented the gospel and the way he presented Jesus, you know, it's very different. And uh, yeah, it was like a lightning bolt, and it was like having, the, as Paul said, the scales peeled from my eyes, and I saw it for what it was, and finally realized that I could have a relationship with Jesus, that it wasn't just going through emotions, that it really was um, something deep and meaningful and, uh, and fulfilling. And, uh, through the course of uh, 
I guess we've been going to South Point about nine years now. And through those nine years, um, my own faith has grown immensely, both uh, as a result of serving on teams and um, being involved in a small group and, uh, and daily reading the Bible. And, and I can honestly say, uh, yeah, it, life before my relationship with Christ was um, chaotic and lacked purpose. But uh, since having a, a real fulfilling relationship with Jesus, um, uh, I got, got a pretty good life. I tell people all the time, I, it's going better than I deserve. Uh, I think uh, my favorite verses, um, probably like a lot of people, obviously John 3.16, because it pretty much sums it up. Um, Want to know where you stand with God? Um, read John 3.16. Um, my other favorite go-to verse is Romans 12.12. 12. Um, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. Anyway, that's my story, and uh, thank you for sharing time with me.